A community tennis club run by volunteers in Belsize Park says it's under threat of closure by the council. Globe Tennis Club has been welcoming a diverse range of players for over 60 years, but now the council says the land it occupies could be used for housing. Victoria Cook reports. In the 1950s, tennis clubs in London wouldn't accept these players. They felt it was because of their class or ethnicity. Together, they formed their own club, the Globe, designed to welcome everyone. We are an important contributor to the community, and once this is gone, you can never replace it. But the lease with Camden Council's up for renewal, and it wants to make changes to it. It could see the club eventually demolished and replaced with housing. Volunteers say it doesn't realise the importance of the work happening here. Our coaches provide coaching uh, free in local schools, which the membership here pays for. So, uh, so we're open, you know, we're accessible, we're diverse, we're inclusive and we're affordable. And that separates us from the average club in London. For members, the news is devastating. I think it really unites a lot of the local school, schools around here, whether it's state schools, private schools. The only place we can go to that actually feels like it's another community space. Camden Council says this is all just an incorrect rumour. But I've been shown a letter from the council to the local MP here and in it it says that this land and this club does have potential to be redeveloped for housing. Despite that, the council's told us it's committed to providing sport in the local area. The campaign to protect the club's been getting support from celebrities around the world including a former Doctor Who who lives next door. It's not only important that this club continues to exist in practical terms for people to play tennis, but to send out a message, particularly post-Brexit, about multiculturalism, multi-faith and, uh, and a sense of community, a global community. If they can't agree, the council and the tennis club will have to go to court to determine what happens next. Victoria Cook, BBC London News.